So yet another season of The Flash comes to an end. Let's pick out the main talking points for the episode. Starting of course with the main talking point, and that is the reveal of the identity of the mystery girl. As expected, she is the daughter of Barry and Iris, but she's not Dawn Allen or Jenny Ognatz. She is Nora West Allen. Hi. Hi. We need to talk. Alan is actually a character from the comics and was first introduced in 2016's Justice League number 26. She's introduced in a storyline called Legacy, where the children of all the superheroes in the future come back to the past to warn their parents of a threat known as the darkness, which pretty much destroyed the entire world. Their superhero parents had left them on Olympus, which had been abandoned by the gods. They were left there by their parents in the future for safekeeping while they faced this threat, so their children, including Nora Allen, have traveled back in time to warn them. In the story, Nora Allen is not the daughter of Iris, in fact she's actually the daughter of Barry Allen and Green Lantern Jessica Cruz. In fact, Barry and Jessica have three kids together, Nora who is a speedster and according to Barry maybe faster than him. The other two kids are Jenny and Jason, they have the power of the lantern light which means they basically have the power of the entire emotional spectrum. Other superheroes children such as Superman and Wonder Woman's son Hunter and Cyborg's son Cube also come back in time. You can see that Nora has the same shoulder length hair as Nora in the TV show. She's also known as the hero Cruz in the comics and in the comics similar to how it is in the TV show. Nora Allen is coming back with a warning for her parents. When Nora and all the other superheroes kids come back in time, they're convinced that it's Wonder Woman who brings about the end of the world. Nora Allen aka Cruz is the first one to attack Wonder Woman, as they believe killing Wonder Woman will save the future. Then Cube, who is Cyborg's son, transports them to a military installation where Steve Trevor and the military are trying to contain the entity known as the Darkness. The Darkness basically enters the minds of the superheroes and tries to get them to kill everyone. The Darkness infects all the kids' parents, who are of course the Justice League. Barry who is infected with the darkness has his thoughts twisted as the darkness tries to convince him to kill Nora, convincing him that he hates her and that he needs to kill her so that he can be with Iris. Remember Nora in the comics is not Iris's daughter, she's Jessica Cruz's, although in the TV show she definitely is Iris's daughter. In the conclusion of the story, Jenny and Jason Allen manage to contain the darkness using their indigo lantern powers. Aquaman and Hippolyta sacrifice themselves taking on the darkness themselves and boom tube into nowhere. After they change history by defeating the darkness, Barry tells Nora that they won't cease to exist because of alternate timelines and divergent futures and then they go back to the future. So Nora Allen on the show has of course appeared multiple times. She met with Barry and was seen by Wally West at Barry and Iris' wedding. Harry and Caitlin, to whom she acted rather ominously, and then later Rolf and Cisco. And of course, most recently, she bought Joe and Cecile a gift for the baby, who actually will be her aunt. So in all the previous meetings, she was extremely excited and happy. And the only time she looked less than thrilled is every time she's been in the same room as Iris. Previously, she'd avoided her by speeding away. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about that later in the video. But now Nora seems extremely stressed. So what changed? And what did Nora do that messed up the timeline? Well, I think it's possible that Nora came back in time to save her father, Barry Allen. This is what she's changed in the timeline and this is what has messed everything up. Given the satellite's mass and its escalating descent, what prevents it from destroying him? And I think that in the original timeline, that's exactly what happened. Barry tried the sonic punch on Sally the satellite and ended up being destroyed. Nora, however, was still born as I think that Iris is already pregnant. So Nora grew up without knowing her father Barry, which is why she was so in awe of them at their wedding. By the way, how incredible was it when Barry was running to do the sonic punch and then you just saw the purple and yellow lightning? <laughs> that was awesome. So basically, I think that Nora decided to pull her own flashpoint and then go back and save Barry. Nora came back a little bit early in the timeline and visited with everyone. Barry, Cisco, Rolf. Oh, by the way, welcome back, Rolf. Caitlin, Joe, and Cecile. But never did she talk to Iris, except now in the final episode of the season. She seemed in awe of Barry, probably because she idolized him and always wondered what he would be like. She dreamt of her father, whereas for Iris, she had grown up with her and she didn't have the same air of mystery and excitement around her seeing her. Either that or Iris and her just don't have the best relationship in the future. And it's interesting how Nora says that Iris only borrowed her the jacket, she didn't give it to her. I wonder if it's possible that Iris in the future only borrowed Nora that jacket so that Iris from the past would believe that Nora was indeed her daughter. Harry Wells from Earth 2 went back to Earth 2 to be with his daughter after he received balance.
In fact, there were lots of emotional hugs in this episode. Harry and Cisco, Harry and the team, and the most surprising one being Iris and Marlies, who apparently have buried the metaphorical hatchet, or katana as it were. Maybe Iris forgave her because she remembered that Marlies hadn't actually stabbed her, and rather Iris had stabbed herself with Marlies's blade. She's so crazy, Iris. But even though Earth 2 Harry Wells is leaving the show, that doesn't mean that actor Tom Cavanaugh is leaving the show. Don't worry, there's going to be a different Harry Wells in the next season of The Flash, as actor Tom Cavanaugh is confirmed to be returning for season 5. And according to the executive producer, Todd Helbing, I don't want to tell you yet who he is, but when I was up there in Vancouver shooting for the finale, I talked to Tom quite a bit about it. We landed on a pretty fun and interesting new Wells to join the team. Helbing in the interview also shared a lot of light on Nora West. Ellen's reaction to her mother Iris and Caitlin. He says, yeah, she comes from 30 years in the future. So 30 years from now, a lot has happened. She's privy to information that no one else is. So her experience in the future is certainly different than where everybody is now. A lot of the next season too, you're going to see this relationship between Barry and Iris and Nora. So we just wanted to give the audience a little glimmer into what her reaction is to everybody. If you go back and watch all the ways that she interacted with everybody, you can get a nice little sense of what her relationship is with everybody in the future. In other words, what Todd is telling us is that she pretty much despises Iris. The actress who plays Nora, Jessica Parker Kennedy, is in real life 33 years old. So the fact that she comes 30 years from the future, which could be more evidence to the fact that Iris is probably already pregnant with her. Another important moment in the episode was when Cecile touched Caitlin when she had the device which boosted her powers. I found Thomas. He's been this way all the time. Thomas may refer to the origin of who Caitlin actually is. The fact that she was seemingly born with her Killer Frost powers leaves us with some big questions around who Caitlyn's father is. Thomas could be her father. And where did Cecile get this message? Was this information coming from Caitlyn herself? And has this information about Thomas, possibly her father, been suppressed by Caitlyn in her mind? So Team Flash are seemingly going to add Wally West, Nora Allen, a new Harrison Wells and Rolf to the team. The scenes with Rolf were awesome and it's great to have him back. And we really didn't get clear answers as to what these symbols are. I had previously thought they were the 30th century language of intellect, but the fact that Nora West Allen was writing in these symbols and is only from 30 years in the future kind of kills that idea. I'll admit the way Team Flash beat DeVoe was a little underwhelming with the Matrix style scene, but I loved how the ending set up season 5. The executive producer also said that there was a deleted scene which set up next season's villain, which actually got cut from the episode due to time constraints. However, he did say that this scene will be released around the same time as Comic Con. So what do you think of the season finale of The Flash? Are you happy that the mystery girl is Nora West Allen? I'm actually very excited to have Jessica Parker Kennedy hopefully be a season regular next year as well as having Rolf and Wally back on the team. So are you looking forward to Nora's interaction with Team Flash? And who do you think the Season 5 villain will be? Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. Please also subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to make sure that you don't miss out on any crafty media content. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers for now.